the final episode of season two. Guys, the heat is on. I feel like you're not taking this seriously. Don't disappoint me, all right? Love kicks. Of course. Prove it. Ooh, this is gonna be tough, guys. Welcome to Love Kicks, eBay's ultimate sneaker game show. I'm your host, Tamara Dia. You might know me from my work interviewing celebrities for Complex, E! News, and MTV. But if you really know me, then you know me from my love of sneakers. Oh my god, I see some heat! Today, we'll be putting three contestants to the test for their chance to win a $1,000 eBay gift card, a pair of Grails, and the coveted Love Kicks trophy. Let's meet our contestants. What's up guys, my name is Grant and I'm from Stockbridge, Georgia. And I make sneaker content online, so I'm pretty confident coming into this show. My love for kicks started in high school when I was reselling sneakers. Most importantly, I'm trying to bring this W home for my family, but I also want to show off my love and knowledge of sneakers. What up y'all? My name is Jade Fox. I'm from Virginia and I am a androgynous fashion creator. Once I learned the sneakers that you wear say a lot about you, that's when I stepped more into streetwear. I'm winning for me, me, myself, and I. Who doesn't want a free pair of shoes and some money? Hi, my name is Diana Morales. I am a sneaker lover and a runner based in Los Angeles. I used to see all my friends with all the latest Jordans, so I knew I had to do it myself. I will go to any lengths to secure the sneaker that I want. Watch out, I'm coming. Hello and welcome to Love Kicks. How are you guys feeling today? Confident. Confident, I like that. You look great. Thank you, you guys look good too. I see you guys came correct. Grant, I see you with the off-white fours. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I feel like that winner is gonna be me today. I like the confidence. I like the fit. Diana, what about you? Did you come to win? Girl, I didn't come to lose. All right, let's get into it. Contestants, please begin drop quiz. Quick questions and even quicker answers. It's time to find out your real sneaker IQ and drop quiz. The more points contestants get, the more of an advantage they'll have in the final round. Question one. Hands on the buzzers. The Audi TT Roadster served as inspiration for which basketball shoe design? A, the Adidas Kobe Crazy One, B, the Reebok Question, or is it C, the Nike Air Revolution? Brent. A. Correct, we have one point for Grant. I guess. <laughs> so I've done a little bit of research on shoes and I'm probably gonna ace this. Question number two, name that sneaker. We're gonna show you a mystery pair of kicks and you have up to 30 seconds to correctly guess the name and model. The fastest correct answer wins the point. This sneaker takes inspiration from a 1983 model combining the past and future of running. I already know I got this in the bag. Diana with the quickness. <laughs> the Vapor Waffle Sakai. Great job, I love it. I feel like you have those in your collection, right? Maybe the purple, whatever. Okay, there we go. I was like, you, you answered that pretty quickly. Did you guys have any idea what it was? I did, I did. Oh, you just weren't fast enough. Gotta be quicker than that. Grant thinks he has it. I'm not sweating. Question number three. This is gonna be true, false. In 1998, the Puma Jill Sander was the first ever fashion and sneaker brand collaboration. True or false? Jade. False. Incorrect. Diana. True. Okay. Thank you for the layup. I know. <laughs> Diana, how did you know that? I mean, it was a 50-50 chance, and if she got it wrong, y'all can throw whatever you want at me. I still feel like I'm gonna win. Our final question is drop date. We're gonna show you a pair of kicks and you will have 30 seconds to correctly guess the year of the release. Your time starts now. MF Doom, what year was it released? Grant. 2007. Wow, I'm very impressed by that. How do you know that? I used to own them and I looked at that shoe too many times and I just remember that off the top of my head now. I won't say what I paid for it because it's just too crazy of a steal. These are one of my favorite sneakers. This is one of my sneaker grails, so I feel so lucky to have them in my hand right now. Hint, hint, eBay, size six and a half, just saying. Let's check out the final scores for round one. Diana, because you did not give us a proper answer for the Puma Jill Sander collaboration, I mean, it was a 50-50 chance, and if she got it wrong. You have one point. The sneaker gods have spoken. 
here at Love Kicks, you have to properly earn your points with your sneaker knowledge. Understood and respected. Grant, you are in the lead with two points. Jade, you got zero, boo. Zero to hero. You know, I like it. I mean, you act like they got 100 points. It's just one, <laughs> it's just one or two points. It's OK. You ready? We got two other rounds, honestly. So you definitely can come back. They may have won the battle, but I will win the war. All right, we have a really incredible special guest for round two, the one, the only, Kais Omar. Today, we're also joined by social media star and YouTube sensation, Kais Omar. From curating to collecting, Kais consistently brings fresh content to the sneaker community. Yo, yo, what up, what up? What's up, Kais, how are you? Good, Good to see you, welcome to Love Kicks. Yeah, I'm excited, I was in the back. I heard we got some sneaker heads in the building. All right, don't take it easy on me. No, I won't, no. Okay. Let's do it. Contestants, please head over to Unboxed. Round two will have your sneaker senses tingling and unboxed. Each contestant will have up to 30 seconds to correctly guess the name and model of the sneaker in the box. But don't worry, our special guest will be on hand to help. Welcome to Unbox Grant. How you feeling? Nervous, I'm not gonna lie. You know your stuff, I know you're a real sneakerhead, so I have a lot of confidence in you. I think you're gonna get this before the timer runs out. Don't disappoint me, all right? I'm gonna get it. Begin Unbox now. Start feeling around, let me know. What are the laces like? What's the materials like? What, what's going through your thought process? I couldn't like grasp and just figure out what it was. It's like a leather. Okay, okay, anything that's giving it away. You see some logos? Where's the tongue? What's the tongue? Am I making it worse for you? What's going on? You're making it a little worse. Am I making it a little worse? Good. 10 seconds. Don't disappoint me, right? right? Man, I don't know. All right, time is up. I need a final answer from you. I'm gonna go Jordan 9. Jordan 9? Yeah. All right. Oh, man. How did you not get this? You said Jordan. This is a Reebok. This is the Reebok question, Iverson's first sneaker. He should have known about the Reebok questions. That was an easy one, in my opinion. I'm not gonna lie, man. I was very disappointed. I think you let a lot of sneaker heads down today. I definitely did. Thank you, eBay, for doing me like that. Welcome to Unbox. How you feeling? I'm nervous. Anxiety was in the room. The rumors are that you're in last place, so I need you to get a W right now. Are you ready? I'm ready. I need to stop these rumors. All right, all right. Begin Unbox now. My strategy, feel the symbol, and let me at least identify if it's a high or a low. So it's a high. OK. But the logo was covered by a strap. It feels like an Adidas. Are you sure about that? I just feel straps. I don't know if there's a strap on there. A little note that he threw in about the straps threw me off. Three, <sighs> two, one. All right, I need a final answer. I'm gonna just go with my first instinct. It was kind of giving me Adidas Forum okay. vibes. Oh, not the Billy. What other shoe has five straps? I don't know if there's a strap on there. Strap on there. Strap on there. I don't appreciate it. I thought we were cool, you know, bonding over sneakers and shoes and things, but whatever. All right, welcome to Unbox. How you feeling? You look a little nervous. You look like you're shaking. <laughs> it's a am. sneaker, all right? It's not an animal in there. Don't worry. It's not going to bite. I've seen too many traumatizing videos. I just got me a little more nervous, calling me out that I was shaking. Like, hey, yo, relax. We're friends. You ready? I'm ready. Begin Unbox now. Talk me through it. What's the soul feel like? You, is it a Jordan? Is it's it a in... Jordan for sure. Oh, okay, okay. You look like you know what you're talking about. So I'm not gonna lie, I was stuck between the six, the seven, and the nine. I feel leather here, and then I feel a little bit of suede around. We're gonna need a final answer in a couple seconds. That's it, time's up. I need a final answer. It's a nine, Jordan nine. A Jordan nine. And let's find out if you got the W here. All right, go ahead and grab it and let's see what happened. Hey, let's, go. let's go! Let's go! Jordan and Nines aren't the most popular, but the fact that you got it right, very impressive. I'm feeling very confident. That's the word of the day, confident. Round three, I got it. So I'm actually super excited that I got to be here on set for Love Kicks. I had a great time. Am I making it worse for you? How did you not get this? You said Jordan. This is a Reebok. And uh, I feel like maybe one day I could come be a contestant and win the game myself. All right, guys, that was round two unboxed. How did it feel? It was a lot. Zero points now. Keep reminding me. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm Don't sorry. Don't need to do that. I like a good underdog story. I feel like you could come back, 
get a few points in the final round. It's only up from here, because when you at zero, where else you gonna go? Grant, you still got two points, all right? You took the W, which Let's put you go. in the lead. Are you guys ready for the final round? Let's do okay. it. It's time for Sneaker Scramble. We've made it to the third and final round. This is Sneaker Scramble. Each contestant must stack their podium with sneakers of the highest total value from the pool. The contestant with the highest total within the time limit takes home the W. Welcome to Sneaker Scramble. I know I wasn't in the second round. Kai's took over. How did it go? I mean, not to brag, but to brag. Your girl's in first place. Oh, word? Grant, you were talking so much <laughs> smack. What happened? I, I got done wrong. You got done wrong? I did. Oh, okay. I also believe I was wrong. Oh, so we have two people that are feeling wrong. Are you going to try and make it right in this round? Absolutely. I'm winning right here. Diana, you are in first place. You will get a minute in the pool. Grant, you are in second place. 55 seconds in the pool. Jade, 50 seconds in the pool. Like you said in the other round, from zero to hero, I still feel like you can make this work. Let's do this. It can see the scramble in three. Two, one, go. Guys, the heat is on. So my plan going into the pool was find anything and everything in there of value and leave like the general releases alone. I just knew that I was the shortest and I'm fast. My strategy was the hottest girl is gonna be all the way at the bottom, but I wasn't feeling anything. It looks like you're drowning in there, Diana. Come on, girl, we need to swim. It was harder than you would imagine. Rolling on the balls as you're trying to get to another area. Kept moving around, still nothing. Come on, Diana, we need some sneakers on the podium. Kind of did make it a little bit more stressful just having someone over you telling you. Like you're not taking this seriously. Reaching to the podium from the ball pit was definitely challenging. It's like Jade is winning. Come on, Diana, let's go. Time is running out. It was going so well. I thought I had the two shoes lined up. Grant's shoe fell off that podium. Literally hit the corner. I felt like all his hopes and dreams came crashing down. Jade, you gotta get out. Grant, your time is up. Jump out, jump out. Diana, come on, I need a sneaker on the platform. Tamara the entire time was yelling at me. Girl, you cannot lose in this round. Honestly, it just kept adding more stress. Girl. That's game. Diana, no sneakers. How are you guys feeling? You're out of breath? Yep. I'm really sad to see zero sneakers on your podium, Diana. Honestly, easier looking at it than once you're in there. What was it like once you're in there? Couldn't feel anything. Kept going straight down, no luck. Time just seemed to fly by. But you know what? I had to go easy on them. I got one question. Do my cherries count? You know, as the rules state, if it's not on the podium, they do not count. I just couldn't get that cherry to land on the shelf. All right, let's see who got the highest value shelf. Jade had lost and founds, which already go for like $400. And then when she got that Air Max up there, man. Listen, we didn't start off strong, but we were never counted out. It all comes down to this. How are we feeling, Grant? Not too good right now. I know, I saw the struggle in the pit. So originally it was like, I was looking for the grails, the grails in there. I didn't want to get any GRs on my table. I came out with these and that's all I could find in there that was high value. Diana, how was it for you? Honestly, I'm pretty confident with my selection here. <laughs> Jade, you seem to have done a good job. I was just in there rolling around like a little 7-Eleven hot dog. <laughs> and so I just decided to stay put and just like mm, 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 and see what I could get. I'm not going to lie. I feel like your 7-Eleven hot dog method worked. We're going to go ahead and break down the value of your sneakers. But first, I'm going to bring back our guest judge, Kais Omar. Come on, Kais. Come on, bring it up, you guys. Let's this go. is the moment. Well, let's start out with the lowest value shelf. So we have Diana at third place with zero dollars. It's okay, sometimes we gotta let other people win. It's my good deed for the day, for the year. Zero, yay! <laughs> In second place, the total value was $315. We have Grant. I got something, at least she didn't. Ow! Meaning the winner is with a total of $629 coming back from zero to winning the final episode of season two, we have Jay. Let's go! What did I say? From zero to hero! Here is your trophy and your grail. Which one you want first? Both. Both? Hold that up high, let them hey. know. Thank you to the Academy 
Thank you, America. Thank you, eBay. Congratulations to Jade, the comeback kid, for the win today. And special thank you to Kais for joining us. And big thank you to eBay seller Soul Stage for supplying the heat. That is officially a wrap on season two of Love Kicks. Yay! Wait, I gotta see these sneakers. Are you kidding? These are mine. They're mine now. Bye! <laughs>